what's up guys we're back again for another marvel puzzle quest video all right <laughs> i have this weird cough been having it for like two three days but it's okay so i apologize for it so we're using a loner sentry i'm not going to be using the ascended one that i used like a month or two ago or whenever i used them so we're gonna be using a loner sentry ascended rocket and group only for his strike tiles that's it I get it, he's 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 a menace on his own, but X23 weapon hex 450 72,645 health. Strongest colors red, then green, then yellow. We're gonna be showcasing her. All about her. Okay, first things first. She is not meta. She is a little bit above average because of her being a glass cannon and the damage that she can do. Just my opinion. There's a couple things holding her back. Right. This, this is the main thing. The four turn Scarlet Storm tile is not fortified. How hard is it to fortify the tile? They could have added fortify, create a four turn fortified Scarlet Storm count on tile. That would have been a game changer. But then again, Jane Foster is in the game to create balance. Without Jane Foster, the game has no balance, and it's just going to be the wild, wild west. And every character in the game is going to be insane. All right. Um. So, if you're playing her to set her up for a combo, Scarlet Storm, you need, this is a 7 costing ability, not a 5. You throw it out for five, you need two extra that it's gonna drain to have it for one turn, right? This is potentially a one trick pony character, right? You wanna make sure you have living weapon. You wanna make sure you have a character that's gonna feed her, feed her damage into oblivion to down one or two characters on the enemy team when you activate the combo. So rocket and group on the board, increase match damage increase you know strike tile effect uh, just damage overall so she's gonna do some crazy amount of damage so what we're gonna do try to keep the strike tiles on the board as, as fast like we're gonna try to activate this as fast as possible i am using boost to speed things up so i'm gonna i'm gonna pop scarlet storm then activate living weapon then make a match and see what you know see the damage we can do Eighty-two thousand jane foster we're gonna save her for when we pop the combo Obviously, there's no red on the board. The game is like, oh, you want to, you know, want to showcase a character? <laughs> Not today. Um, as always, that's how it always happens. For those of you who are, you know, for those of you who watch my videos, it, it, you know, tell me if I'm lying when I when I do this, right? Make 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 a video and boom, the tiles are not there. But uh, Fang Chi, we'll get rid of him, right? Seventy. Well, actually, you know what? No, we're gonna keep them two because I want to see. What we can do we're gonna we're gonna um we're gonna set this combo up All right so her red is essentially a seven ap costing ability for basically one turn unless you get lucky to match more red every turn and mind you this is an ascended rocket and group so this strike is going to be a little bit more stronger a little bit more powerful um so yeah what's holding her back not fortified it's essentially a seven uh, ap costing ability um this is splash damage they should have given this they should have made this ability five ap um this one's good but she would have been top tier she would have been meta if this was straight up all true heal and it wouldn't have been a problem at all just true heal simple as that um true heal your teammates and not herself at all um, whenever a friendly projectile leaves the board, X23 heals for, you know, the, the heals for health. This is true heal, her passive. Instead of friendly, it should have said when a projectile leaves the board, then, you know. But yeah, that's, 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 that's a couple things holding her back, you know. So, we, we need red. We don't have it. We got green. Um, we're gonna let Rocket and Groot get damaged out to him. We got hexagon, so we could let the uh, we could let our teammates tank 
while we, assuming he doesn't get downed. If Rocket Agru gets down, that's fine. She could still 2v1. Okay, here we go. Red. We got seven. This is one trick pony. We need at least two strike tiles on the board. Minimum two. Or even one. Right? Just to get the increased. So, one, two, three. We got him down here. That's fine. There's no way we lose. Okay, here we go. Boom. We're not even gonna... We're not even gonna need... To, you know, offer up the two red AP. Now... Let's see. Scarlet Storm Tile on the board. X23 deals 110% increased damage. Damage overall. Match damage. Passive damage. Active damage. Right? All damage. It doesn't specify to which type. Now, the second part. She gains 90% increased effect from Strike Tiles. We got 1, 2, 3... Four from what I see right now unless I move that yeah one two three four okay um at the start of her turn drain two red AP to create one strength 481 strike tile that's another thing holding her back why is the strike tile only 481 it should have been at least a thousand two hundred you know strength strike tile minimum to see some kind of, you know, well, what's what are, what are what are the words to even use for this? To to see some kind of damage output when you don't have the Scarlet Storm tile on the board, right? That thousand two hundred or thousand strength strike tile could have made up for something, you know. But this is level five, one strength four eighty one. Even if it was five five um strength 100 strike tiles that would have been better than one strength 41 this character is mid at best this character is the glass cannon which makes her above average which is you know weird to say that but it's true defense she gets destroyed offense you can deal some crazy damage um, and then her passive, right? If a Scarlet Storm tile exists, X23's matches deal damage twice. So you're just getting crazy damage everywhere. But without this tile on the board, she is literally nothing. She is essentially a one-star character with crazy health. That is pretty much this character. That's pretty much what this character is. Without this Scarlet Storm tile, the one thing that they messed up on, I don't want to say they messed up, well, the one thing that they didn't do, with, which is what they should have done, uh, fortify the tile, that's it, fortify, create a four turn, fortify Scarlet Storm tile, then the character would have been something, right, so we got the tile out, now, this is not going to deal, I, I, like, I don't want to activate that just yet. I want to see what the match damage is. All right. So we're going to match red. Thank God we have it right here. Okay. He's downed. It dealt. So her match damage dealt a little bit above. it. The first the first hit of that dealt 40,000, 41,000. So double that. 82. Let's just say she did 83,000 match damage to Shang-Chi. And then another 80,000 or whatever doubled to Jane Foster. Hence why she's a glass cannon. And hence why she needs that tile fortified. And it needs to be in her own kit. Her own abilities need to say that. Obviously with supports heading towards PvP. Which I thought they were going to head towards PvP this season. They didn't. It is what it is. Whatever. Um... There's a lot of supports that say fortify a friendly special tile, which which is gonna help. But it would help if it or if she already had the fortification text in that red ability, the green ability, or whatever. But without that tile on the board, he is a one star with crazy amounts of help. So that's it. But uh yeah, that was a character breakdown. I hope I broke it down as best as possible for you guys. Um 
I do have quite a, a bit more videos lined up for her. And as always, let me know what you guys think. Catch you guys in the next one.